Welcome to Gorilla Scheduling and Budgeting. This quick intro will help you get started with Gorilla. Gorilla is a software tool that helps you schedule and budget your film and video projects, whether a short, a television series, or a feature film. When you first launch Gorilla, you will be taken to the project manager. You should see a few demo projects. Schedules are on the left and budgets on the right. Click on the demo schedule to launch it, and you will be taken to the breakdown sheets screen, which are scenes that you can create manually or import from your screenplay. The scene navigator on your right allows you to navigate to your scenes. Each scene needs to be scheduled, and you do so by selecting a category here on the left side of the screen, and then selecting an element to add to the scene. For example, a prop or a costume. If you imported your screenplay using your favorite screenplay program, you can view the screenplay for the scene. You can also tag your screenplay by selecting a word or a phrase in the screenplay display, tapping the spacebar, and then selecting a category to attach it to. In this way, you can schedule a variety of elements to each scene. Once this is complete, it's time to create your shoot days for your project. Let's click on the Shoot Days button and take a look at the Gorilla's calendar. This will show you the days allocated for shooting and your off days, days that are obviously non-shoot days. Let's add another shoot day to the end of our shoot. Click on the day desired, and that day will be added to this production phase. Now, each day has certain criteria that you need to manage. So let's go ahead and click on a shoot day. In the detail screen for a shoot day, you need to enter crew needed, call times for your crew and cast, and if desired, specific information, such as meals and shot information, parking, atmosphere, stand-ins, and more. Let's enter some crew. First, I'll go to a shoot day that doesn't have any information and select the Crew Call Times tab. Down here, you can enter crew members individually simply by checking their name from the crew list. You can also create new crew members here. Once a crew member is assigned, you can enter a call time, which is the time they need to be on set for that day. By clicking the cast call times, you can enter makeup and call times for your cast. Now, cast is not actually entered here, as they are scheduled on breakdown sheets. Then, by rearranging the stripboard, Gorilla will know what shoot day they are scheduled for. Speaking of the stripboard, let's go there now. This is where you schedule your scenes. So, for example, if you want a scene scheduled for the first shoot day, you simply drag that scene to that location on the board. These numbers here are very important in scheduling as they represent your cast members. So you can see which cast members are scheduled for each scene. And here on the left is the cast legend. You can create multiple boards for your schedule based on the same production phase or a different phase with completely different shoot dates. Once your schedule is complete, you can print or PDF a variety of different scheduling reports. To take a look at some of these, select Print from the File pull-down menu. Select a module on the left to see all the available reports for that module, and then Preview or Print that report. Now that we have a pretty good handle on scheduling, let's do a budget. On the toolbar, Select the Manager button to take you back to the Project Manager. Let's link a sample budget to our sample schedule. Now let's select the budget to launch it. Budgets are divided into three sections, the top sheet or the summary sheet, the account level, and finally the detail level, or sometimes referred to as expenses. As you can see, this budget is divided into four sections. Pre-production, production, post, and other, which is typical for a film budget. 
Everything in pre-production consists of costs prior to the start of shooting, mostly above-the-line costs as known in the film industry. So let's go ahead and import some cast from our linked schedule into this budget. Select the Talent category, which will take you to the account level. Then select the Actors account to go to the Detail level. Now there is a sample line here, but I'm going to delete it for now. From the Edit pull-down menu, select Import Scheduling, and then Import Actor. Select Per Day for the import rate type, and you will see the daily rates entered for actors for the linked schedule. If one is empty, or you want to modify a rate, you can edit it from here by selecting the Edit button. The total days worked will appear here in this column based on the Day Out of Days report, which is based on the strip board in your schedule for the default board selected. Let's go ahead and click on the Select All button to import all actors into our budget. Notice that not only did the actors import with their rates, but the days worked imported into the amount field and automatically calculated the totals we need to finish our talent category. When returning to the top sheet, you will see that the subtotal for the talent category is updated to reflect the changes made to the detail level. The accounting module allows you to track expenses against your budget. Click on the Accounting tab and create an account. Again, if your budget is linked to a schedule, you can enter payment transactions to your cast and crew and track the amounts paid against what you budgeted for that line item. Let's add a payment to a crew member. Select the crew member from the contact list, enter the amount, and then attach it to a budget account. In this case, account 11-01 and create the transaction. Now, if we go to the 11-01 category on the account level, we will see that this line is budgeted for a total of $12,500. We've already paid the crew member $2,000. In this way, you can track all the expenses against your budget to make sure you are on track. At the end of the day, you can export all your transactions or run a balance report showing you the variance of all your totals. And speaking of reports, Gorilla can print your top sheet and detail summary. Select the budget module on the left and then the budget report desired on the right. The detail report offers both a standard detail only report or a classic detail report which includes the top sheet and summary. So that about wraps it up for this video. To check out more training videos, from the Extras pull-down menu, select Training Videos. Or if you prefer reading, our 200 plus page hyperlinked online PDF is available by selecting Gorilla Guide. In the end, it's easy to see that Gorilla has everything you need to schedule and budget your production. Have a great shoot.